Hi energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what are their intentions towards you. So, you know, what are their intentions here towards you, towards the connection? Do they want stability? Do they want a relationship? What are their motivations here? Okay, um, what's motivating them here? So we'll take a look at and explore this in a little bit more detail here in a few minutes uh, but before I begin I just want to mention that it is a general reading I'm sure most of you are aware please be mindful of that if you are after personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire I will list my email just below the video here okay guys otherwise let's go ahead and get stuck into it so what is your person's true intentions for this connection and I also want to mention it doesn't necessarily make much of a difference if you are already in a relationship with this person or if you are just loosely involved with each other, okay? This is your person, your situation, and we want to know what are their intentions. Okay, you have the King of Cups here. The Seven of Cups, but it's in reverse. And then the Lovers card here. The King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles here. And the Tower. Okay. Um, a very powerful connection here. A very powerful connection. Which unfortunately might be under the influence, un, under the influence of a Tower moment. Okay. Or you may have experienced a Tower moment with this person in the past. Some of you, however, will be heading into a tower moment with this person um, shortly after listening or hearing this video here. We want to know their intentions for you. The King of Cups here, we're off to a really good start. I feel like your person here has um, a balance between their heart and their head here. The King of Cups is also someone who's very emotionally mature and they do, he does rather, value family here. So... To me, it feels like there's a sense of peace within the energy, and this person is definitely after, um, you know, a harmonious relationship, a harmonious connection here. The King of Cups is someone who does want to get married. Okay, the King of Cups is someone who does, as I've mentioned, family is a big deal for him. Um, he is someone who's very sensitive, loving, considerate, caring, um, very deeply emotional, you know, there's a harmony, a peaceful energy around him. He's a peacekeeper. He is affectionate. He's very disciplined as well, emotionally disciplined. He he is a romantic. He is the lover, right? So this is a great energy. It's a great energy that it exudes here. Your person, I feel like, has a very relaxed approach here. I don't feel like even if the two of you have gone through some sort of storm or if you have, you know, if you are enduring a storm, or even if you're about to go into a storm, it's important for you to understand that your person doesn't feel like anything, even if, you know, even if it's like a chaotic storm, can come and just sort of tear apart what the two of you have built. They are very confident within you and within this connection and within themselves they are very confident that what the two of you have so far even if it's just recent and early days what the two of you have so far is a very strong foundational structure for a future for a beautiful future relationship here so i do like this person's energy because they're also someone who this is a someone who's following their hunch their intuition and their hunch and so far their intuition and their hunch he has led them to you here Seven of Cups in reverse, there is a bit of confusion here around someone's energy. Could be your person's though. I do feel like it's your person. Okay, for some of you, I feel like your person either is very deeply infatuated with you. They're either really in love with you or very smitten or they could definitely see themselves falling for you. They may love you but not yet be in love with you. Um, I definitely feel like there are very strong romantic feelings involved here. Now with the seven of cups in reverse there is also some confusion around their feelings here now especially if they're a water energy here for those of you that may be dealing with a water sign a cancer pisces a scorpio now these beings are very emotional here um, they have a lot of emotional depth here so sometimes it can get 
those emotions can get a little bit overwhelming. So maybe this is where the confusion is coming in. But at one point or another, whether in the past, in the present or in the future, your person's energy is coming up as emotionally scattered or confused. They're coming up as someone who's feeling so much emotions for you. Um, and look, some of these emotions aren't even like, I don't want to scare you off, but as I've mentioned, you know, there's, there's beautiful emotions. This person feels like you're the one, um, they love you or they are in love with you or they see themselves falling in love with you. You know, they've got great energy, but some of these emotions are also because, because of the seven of cups, notice how not all chalices bear desirable gifts. Some of those emotions can also be like uncertainty or like maybe even jealousy here, um, so what was I saying? The Seven of Cups and that, you know, um, there is some sort of confusion or th there has been, there is or there will be some confusion here when it comes to your person's energy here, especially with the Seven of Cups in reverse here. Um, they may also be giving you mixed messages, but it's not because... They want to give you off these mixed messages. It's because just they're, they're having a hard time identifying um, with those emotions here. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing that your, your person might need a little bit more clarity here. For some of you, maybe there was some sort of emotional or there has been some sort of emotional upheaval. Maybe because the Seven of Cups and the Lovers card, he maybe your person is in a position where they have to make a choice. Some of you may be doing long distance. Some of you maybe are, you know, friends and wanting to turn things romantic. Whatever your situation, your person feels like they have to make a choice. And there's some sort of uncertainty about the choice here. But I feel like at the end of the day, their intentions are pure. I feel like they're coming from a good place. I feel like they have very strong romantic feelings for you. They feel like you are a soulmate. They feel like this is destiny. They feel like the two of you are fated, okay, and you were fated to meet. Now, they want to build an empire with you, with the King of Pentacles, okay? He's a very stable kind of energy. I can see that your person is a very traditional partner or is a bit of a traditionalist. He or she, you know, has certain traditions, whether religious or cultural, that they like to uphold. Um, they're also very big on family, on values. See, those things are very important to them. So this is why, you know... To them, it's very important that they do meet someone whose values align with theirs. Because they, at the end of the day, their intentions, they want to go the distance. They want to go the long haul, okay? They're not here to waste your time. They're not here to waste their time. They're not here to just, you know, um, they're not here for a great time. They're here for a long time here, guys. So their intentions are definitely pure. Um, and they want stability. They want commitment. They want security. They want loyalty consistency okay they want to provide you those things but they also want the same things in return so again i feel like this person wants to build a future with you okay they want to build a future they want to uh, meet your family they want to blend families here for some of you um they want to build a family with you they want to build a home or move in together here they want you to meet their friends if you haven't already so i can definitely see how this person wants to pull you into their world so yes they do want to build something very special with you now, at the start of this reading, I did mention that either your energies have been are, or will be under the influence of the Tower moment, but I don't think this is going to, although it may come along and change a few things, I don't think that this is going to affect you all that drastically, this Tower moment, um, however it may arrive to you. Um, it can, you know, the Tower card itself is... It's got a bit of an ominous presence to it, right? It's a little bit threatening, um, a little bit frightening here, but I feel like... Your person isn't scared. I don't think your person is... Yes, they are scared to lose you, but they're not scared that this tower moment that you may be under is going to tear the two of you apart because they feel like the two of you have strong, very strong feelings for one another. Very strong feelings for one another here. And this person doesn't believe, your person, their energy doesn't believe that a, that a storm or two can tear the two of you apart. So that's very powerful here. Um, and they honestly believe that whatever comes your way here, they will be there right by your side here to conquer that storm. Those emotional storms, those, you know, they be, they'll be right by your side to weather all of those storms here. Because they truly value the relationship. They truly value the relationship. Um... And they understand, they understand that the foundation on which you build, you have built things or you are building things isn't weak, okay? It's not weak. 
It's very sturdy. It's 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 not going to collapse. Not by this simple storm here. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, um, sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Bye for now.